Hey, hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have three cool hacks, three little tricks for you. We're going to be able to quickly identify the 145 in any given key. It's my 145 finder, I call it, where you'll be able to find out just almost by looking quickly at the fretboard. And I'm also going to show you how to quickly find uh, the relative minor of any major key and also the relative major of any minor key. They have the exact same notes in them. Really important information. It's stuff that's very applicable to your playing and you'll be using it a lot throughout your guitar journey. But before we get rocking, if you could please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. Leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see. Let us know what gear you'd like to see reviewed. And if you like the video, please click the like button, share it, and thank you so much for your support. The first little trick hack is gonna be how to quickly know the one, four, five in any key. Blues guys like this, rock guys like this. Um, and here's all you have to do. Take your first finger on the low E string and put it on the key that you're in. Let's say you're in the key of C and you wanna know quickly the one, four, five. Turn your guitar on first, right? Uh, so C is on the 8th fret of the low E string. Right underneath that will be the perfect 4th. That's your 4th. That would be F. So always right under the low root, the 1 chord is the 4 chord. And then if you, so we have C is our 1, F is our 4. And then if you go a whole step up on the A string from that 4, from that F, you have your 5. So it makes it so easy. One, low E string. Four, right under it on the A string. Five, a whole step up on the A string. One, four, five. Key is C. C, F, G. Easy, right? Let's say you're in the key of G and you want to know the one, four, five. Well, I know my G is on the third fret of the low E string, right? I go right there. Right underneath that is my fourth. That would be a C note on the A string. And a whole step up from that is the fifth, which would be a D on the A string. One, four, five. G, C is the fourth. D is the fifth in the key of G. Another similar hack I have using the notes to find out on the low E string. Let's say you know your major key, but you want to know the relative minor of that major. All major keys have a relative minor with the exact same notes in them. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. This is really important. Let's say you're in the key of C major, okay? And that has no sharps and flats. Um, the notes in a C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? No sharps or flats. No matter where you play it, on the guitar neck, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, right? There's a relative minor scale with those exact same notes, and here's how you find it. You put your pinky on the major, on the C, and then one finger per fret, if you just go down three frets or a minor third, one, two, three, your first finger will fall on the relative minor of that major key. So we're in C. So on the low E string, if I go to my first finger, three frets away, A. A minor is the relative major of C major. A minor also has no sharps and flats in it. The notes are exactly the same as C major, except it starts on the A. A natural minor scale. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Right? Same exact notes as you can see on the screen as C major. So all you do, find the major on the low E string with your pinky, first finger falls on the relative minor. And if you want to dig deeper into these subjects, I have a killer ebook I'll send you for free. It's my biggest rock blues soloing ebook. It's packed with scale diagrams, soloing strategy, major minor key, music theory. It's an awesome resource that you'll be cracking into throughout your guitar journey. I'll pair it with a video lesson. Uh, simple ways to spice up your lead guitar playing. I'll send them both to you for free, the video lesson and the ebook. All you have to do is just click on that link in the YouTube description box below. We'll do another one. Let's say you're in the key of D major. You want to know the relative minor. Pinky low E string, go up to your D note, which is on the 10th fret of the low E string. One finger per fret. Your first finger falls on B. B minor is the relative minor of D major. They have the exact same notes in them. So this way, let's say if you know a few major scales, and but you uh, are going to jam in a minor key, and you want to try playing those seven note diatonic scales over them, you could use those major scales, just kind of convert them to their relative minor, and then just kind of emphasize the minor note. So let's say, like we were saying before, if you're in 
the key of A minor and you want to jam over that, play your C major scales, but just shift emphasis, start them on the A note instead of the C, because then when you start them on the A, it shifts the intervals and you're no longer playing in C major technically, you're playing in A minor. So uh, just shift emphasis to those A notes and it'll have that dark minor sound as opposed to if you start and emphasize the C, right? It'll be happy and major sound like the Do, Re, Mi, right? If I start on the A note, see, that's dark. Amazing, right? Same exact notes, but we're shifting the intervals. And that's all the modes are all about, really. Just, you know, kind of like uh, playing different variations of the major scale. Anytime you take a major scale and you start on a different note than the root, you're playing in the modes. I don't want to throw too much theory at you. You know, I just want to get you playing, having fun, right? And uh, you could dive into these things deeper as you go on in your guitar journey. And then the third hack I have is working it the other way. Let's say maybe you know your minor stuff, you know your minor scales, but you want to know the major, the relative major. Every minor key has a relative major with the same notes in it. Same thing as we just discussed ma relative major to minor, minor to relative major. So let's say you're in the key of D minor and you want to know what's the relative major. This time you're going to find that D note, D minor, with your first finger on the low E string. Go to your D, which is at your 10th fret, and then again, one finger per fret, your pinky will fall on the relative major. In this instance, it's falling on F, three frets away. There's my F, F major. The notes in an F major scale, exact same notes as in D natural minor. D minor is relative major, F major. Just a simple way that you can quickly know where all these are at. Hope you enjoyed those little hacks. Just a little something to make your guitar journey a little bit easier, a little bit smoother, right? Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons coming up. I'm really excited about the stuff I'm going to be bringing to you. Please subscribe to that channel, right? That really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. And don't forget, get that free video lesson and ebook. It's totally killer. It's my biggest blues rock soloing ebook ever. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box. I'll send them both to you for free. And if you got a second, I just dropped a new record with my original band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. I think it's a really slamming record. Some of the best music I've ever written. I'm really stoked about it. And I would love for you to check it out. It's streaming on all the major platforms. You can also get the digital copy and get the CD. I'll put links to all of that below in the YouTube description box. Let me know what you think of the songs, and if you have any questions on the gear I used, or the techniques, or uh, the studio production, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Keep up all that hard work on that guitar. Keep having fun with it. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care, and rock on. Yeah!